For our Internet of Things curriculum, we are using FritSync for the digital design of power engineering prototypes. It has more components for the design and others can be added from GitHub. So let's take a look to the parts of this program. So the first one in here is going to be uh, the welcome. That one is um, the main page. We are going to see here opening a new sketch or open sketches that we already have. This is divided in five important uh, parts. The second one is actually the main part of our fritzing, which is uh, um, the workspace for building our engineering prototypes. Then the third division is the schemic. And in here we are going to see our project um, and all the wiring, all the resistors, all the components that we put there as a schemic. The uh, fourth one is uh, the PCB, and the last one is the code. In here, although this uh, program doesn't have um, simulation, we can type the code and uh, um, has as well some options here for seeing the microcontroller Arduino, Arduino Uno, or uh, some other microcontrollers. So we are going back to the breadboard and uh, Fritzing is giving us already um, the big breadboard, but there are some others that we can, we can add. Um, in here at the bottom left, we have uh, options for adding notes, um, options for rotating or flipping the components. Also in here, we can uh, play with the size of our uh, workspace. And at the right in here, this last part is uh, just sharing the, um, the project. So going back to this section of file, in here we will have some other options for opening new files or the existing. And in here, how to save um, the project sharing online, even exporting this uh, project as an image. And uh, this is coming in several formats. So there are some other options that we can uh, use here for working with our digital design. The next thing is editing. And here we have other options for uh, copying our project, editing, um, going back to uh, the first step or second step, depending um, to duplicate the project, delete, I mean, depending what we need, adding notes. In here, parts as well, if we want to rotate, if we want to add the two bins, this is going to be very important because in this section, we are going to add parts. So I'm going to explain um, later how to add these parts to our pen and from where. So in here, uh, there are some other options for seeing our uh, screen, a zoom and modifying the size of our, um, our workspace. So in here, this is going to be one of the most important part of our um, project because in here we are going to use this section which are parts and at the right you will see a list of components we have some options for finding components the first one is in here um, searching so the program in automatic will download the components that are there in Fritzing and in here we have the option of uh, typing um, the component that we are looking for. For example, if I type ASP32, so I will have here my ASP32. Since I already have this component, so you will see, you will see it here. But if those components are not present, we can bring them from uh, GitHub. All right. So now, in here. Let's take a look to this left section of uh, our 
um, part list. The first one is the core and are gonna be the components, the basic components that uh, Fritzing has. So in here we have a wide variety of components that we can use. Next, you can add uh, the components that you're downloading to your mine section. So in this case, those are the components and sensors that I'm using for building my digital design. In here we have another option, which is um, microcontrollers from Arduino. We have awards, we have shields, then uh, SparkFun as well has uh, their um, sensors and breadboards, shields in that specific section. It takes a few minutes in uh, bringing all the components. And then another company that is here is Seed. They are adding here as well uh, sensors and microcontrollers. So we can take a look to Intel. And in here we can uh, continue checking all the um, sensors that we have. Uh, Parallax as well has components. And then in here we will see more switches. In this one, I mean, there is a, a long list. We can continue here um, downloading the components that Fritzing has. So now, in here, if the components that you're looking for are not in the section, at the right, you will see a list. If we open here these um, lines, you will see some important areas for finding and bringing the components to Fritzing. So this is going to be our next step to work with. So going back to GitHub, I will go back to GitHub here. GitHub has a, a, an agreement with Fritzing and they have the parts that we can download for working with our projects. So in here, what we can do, we can find uh, the parts that we are looking for. And then from here, you can scrolling down and you will find uh, um, the components, all the variety of components that, that are there. For example, if I want to take this uh, humidity and temperature sensor, I just click on it and then viewing as raw. So my um, sensor is going to be downloaded to the download section in your computer. Now we are going back to Fritzing and going again to this section at the right and looking for important, importing bins, which is this one. So we're going to import bin and then looking for download and we have already our component is just opening and in automatic you will see the uh, sensor downloaded here. Now this was downloaded in my parts section and there is an option of bringing the component just dragging the component to another section of your uh, part list that is in here. For example, I want this new sensor to be in parallax. So I drag it and I go to parallax and I just drag it here. So there is another option that we have. Um, so, but going back to the original sensor is going to be uh, downloaded in my parts section. And like that, there are some other uh, sensors that you can bring from GitHub. So in here, 
we have the option of working with uh, uh, the large breadboard or we can uh, delete and we can bring from this section a small breadboard. There are different types of breadboards. We have the tiny, we have the small. So there are uh, several options we can work um, with. So we are deleting this and uh, bringing a small breadboard to the workspace. How we are going to work with this? So this is very similar to other um, programs we are using. For example, I want to work with ASP32, which is uh, for Internet of Things. So I'm going to look for um, ASP32, which is already here. I already brought it from uh, GitHub. So what I'm going to do, I'm just bringing this uh, um, ASP to the workspace, then rotate to place it on the breadboard. And uh, just making sure that the pins are connected to uh, the pins of our ASP32. Another component that we can bring here is, uh, let's see, we are bringing a fan. And we can bring the sensor that we just download, which is uh, the uh, temperature sensor for humidity and temperature both. So I can put it here at the top of our our breadboard. The wiring is going to be quite simple. These two components need uh, 5 volts, so we can bring 5 volts here on the red rail. With the right click we can change the color of our cables and then we look for our ground and this is easy because if you place the mouse on the pin will give you the direction so this one is our ground let's change the color again to blue now the um, the nodes that I mentioned are from here or can be from here so if we want to add a note in here we can put red wire for 5 volt blue wire for ground so those are gonna be notes very useful for our projects And now we can continue doing the rest of the wiring. So this sensor, for example, it would take a loop to, it would place the mouse on the, um, the tip of the cable, is giving us already the type of connection that we have. So in this case, we have ground. So this one indicates that we need to uh, draw a cable to our ground. The next one, which is the yellow cable, is going to be our data. And this one is going to be connected to our, let's say, 34. And then we have the uh, we, we have a, another nice feature here of uh, bending the cable by clicking twice on the cable like this. And we can change the, the design of our cables. And also the color. The last one is going to be our 5 volt. So all the way to the red rail. In red. So that way we have our sensor connected. We can scroll to see the position of our components. And the last one is going to be our fan. 
Norfan has uh, the three connections as well. So red is going to be the 5 volt. Our black goes to ground. Double click and we can bend the cables. The last one is going to be our signal that can be to one of these sections, let's say, is connected to the number 26. Again, we are going to bend the cables. Double click. And we have our wiring ready. This uh, fritzing is for more advanced projects, so that's why we are using uh, this uh, program. Now, um, when the digital design is ready, the next thing is going to schema schematic, and you will see here um, how the prototype looks in schematic. Also in PCB. And the last one is just for typing the code. In here is basic, basically just uh, for storing the uh, the code. Since it doesn't have simulation, it's just for keeping the code um, to the to the digital design. So next is uh, going back to our breadboard, and then saving our document as a uh, temperature sensor digital design is going to be save as fritzing and then you can look for one of your files to save it and it's going to be saved so as soon as you finish your um, digital design the next thing is going to be going to the code and then this is what we are going to see in here i have added the libraries um, the connection to the asp32 in this case well, what was the connection to pin number 34. we will see the void setup and all the um, the features for starting the serial begin so this one can be just copied and sent to arduino ide for programming the ASP32.